What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, good morning to some out there here along the west coast, 11 a.m. Uh, California time on this Tuesday morning, January 4th, 2022 is a date looking at the latest earthquake on the globe, a 5.8 earthquake to strike the Vanuatu area. You can see a little bit of uh, movement, deeper earthquake activity over the last 24 hours on the earthquake 3D globe. Quite a bit of movement uh, taking place in that area. We'll go ahead and start it off here with a look at the latest informa information here from the USGS. Uh, overnight, there's that uh, 5.8 down in the uh, Vanuatu area, which was 116 kilometers deep, by the way. Pretty deep movement. Uh, we did have a 6.1 earthquake. I believe it actually came in as a six-pointer, uh, upgraded to 6.1. It's hard to tell with the USGS. They're always bouncing around. <clears throat> but anyway, a uh, little bit of earthquake activity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Out there in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, uh, this area is a... Uh, uh, an ocean ridge, kind of like a divergent, it is a divergent plate boundary, kind of where the sea floors are uh, spreading apart. Just a little info on that specific section there. Uh, they don't get super big earthquakes, but they do get some sixes out there on occasion. And uh, last night, definitely uh, one popped up out there for sure. Uh, we did see some further movement overnight into the states uh, with an earthquake up in the Ohio area, 2.8 near Timberlake, Ohio. 5.0 or 5. Point, uh, yeah, 5.0 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. Let's go ahead and pull up the all magnitudes uh, with the microquakes included. And seeing some movement out there in the California area as well, uh, up and down the state. It looks like a little bit on the active side. No specific swarming to note at the moment. Uh, just a little bit of renewed activity in the Ridgecrest region and also down along the San Jacinto Fault area here. San Andreas Fault, uh, north and south, looks pretty quiet. Uh, looking like a little bit of movement around the uh, geyser activity once again. South of Clear Lake, uh, east of Cloverdale area up in the mountains here. Uh, let's see what else we've got. A little bit of movement here on the Mendocino Fault. I did have a 2.8. That was from yesterday. Uh, 20 kilometers. We haven't seen any further movement uh, since that uh, earthquake last night. Uh, activity up in the Pacific Northwest appears to be calming down as well. Uh, some activity up in the Montana region, it looks like, overnight. Uh, 2.1 near Swan Lake, Montana, 11.6 kilometers. And some scattered earthquake activity throughout the Intermountain West and down into the uh, Utah area. Uh, this swarming activity has, uh, uh, looks like it's kind of dwindled down a little bit. Go ahead and pull up the seven days all magnitudes. We've just seen a swarm of movement here uh, in this area of Utah up in the mountains. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, fault systems up there, obviously, just not marked here uh, as a major fault on the USGS map. <clears throat> there is the uh, fault system over here to the northwest. kind of runs up along uh, the mountain ranges. Uh, let's see what else we got here in the region. Some activity throughout the Oklahoma and Texas area. <clears throat> trying to get rid of this man it comes back seems like on occasion i think i'm almost completely over this cold that i had for a few days but it comes back once in a while it seems like when i'm on the microphone as soon as i hit that uh, start button it keys back up uh, let's look at the activity down south here in the fiji area where we've seen some deeper movement uh, overnight and including that most recent 5.8 uh, a lot of movement here in the in this little horseshoe bend of course, this is a very famous uh, area for, uh, well, I should say very known area for deep movement in this little um, bend here of the plates. Subduction zone area as well, uh, down through the New Zealand area, at least the Hikurangi subduction zone, and then the Kermadec Trench, Tonga Trench northward. All looks quiet for the most part, except for this little one, the uh, 5.0, that struck uh, pretty deep into the trench at 265 kilometers. Australia looks pretty quiet, uh, at least according to the USGS. And up along the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, some deeper earthquake activity into, into the Sea of Osk. Up here, 489 kilometers for a 4.5. That's super deep, but uh, once again, known for deep movement here in this region. Not a whole lot of surface fracture, or at least surface quaking up here along the uh, subduction zone. So still kind of watching that. It's definitely building up, let me tell you. Uh, 4.6 uh, just to the north of Tokyo. 
into the Japan Trench, that one kind of deep as well, 61.5 kilometers, and uh, earthquake down here in the south from yesterday, a 5.8 uh, kind of in the to the uh, Philippine plate. Uh, things kind of mellowing out. We did have this little gap of movement here in between the 6.1 and the area to the east around the China region, Mediterranean Sea, and the Middle East area all looking pretty quiet on the map overnight. Uh, that could change here pretty soon. South Sandwich Islands looking pretty quiet as well. Uh, we have seen a little bit of movement in the Puerto Rico area with an uptick around the trench. The uh, northwest or at least the western part of the trench here has shown some activity kicking up. Uh, including uh, some deeper movement, 33 kilometers for a 3.5, and uh, some activity uh, really close to the Puerto Rico Trench, a deep one, 53 kilometers at 3.7 on the magnitude scale. Uh, so yeah, kind of just uh, some movement kicking up here around the globe, folks. Kind of wanted to see if anybody felt this 2.8 up here in the Ohio area. Looks like a few folks did report some uh, uh, some shaking up there. According to the map here, looks like uh, some very light shaking. Did you feel it? Responses shows uh, East Lake, Ohio, and other areas. M Mentor, uh, wow, quite a few stations there, or uh, quite a few folks are reporting that uh, very light 2.8. Uh, looks like the depth of that earthquake uh, very shallow at uh, about five kilometers below the surface. Uh, what do we got here, folks, in the Yellowstone area? Um, Looks like a loss of data on quite a few stations there. Not for sure why. Let's refresh that and double check. Make sure we're getting, yeah, everything looks good. Um, I don't see any earthquake activity to take note of here in the Yellowstone region. Some major interference over here. Definitely showing up on all the seismograph stations. That's there. That's a, kind of an indicator of uh, some a major technical glitch in the... Uh, in the seismographs here definitely not earthquake related but uh, a, a glitch of some sort even down there in the uh, Moose Creek Idaho area not uh, keying up too much activity uh, let's see here Trimber map of course was last last night it came in pretty uh, pretty bleak not a whole lot of trimmer activity at all it looks like and uh, the Sun well continues to calm down in the aspect of uh, not a whole lot of solar flare threats. In fact, they dropped the sea flare threat down to a 5%. It's very low. Um, so, yeah, we can't really uh, expect to see much popping there on the sun in the coming days. And in fact, looking at the far side here, the earth side that will be facing us looks pretty, uh, pretty calm, at least on this end. Uh, with a um, I don't see anything of interest on the sun at the moment. All right, guys, going to jump off here. Hope you guys have a good day, good Tuesday. And uh, we'll keep an eye on these seismograph stations here. Kind of want to show you guys the uh, activity in Hawaii. For some reason, I tend to kick over that and skip over the big island for some reason. Not intentional. It's just out there in the middle of the Pacific plate, kind of around the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. So it does get skipped on occasion, but uh, some movement overnight. Of course, yesterday we had that 4.3 kicking off there in the southeast flank. Haven't seen any uh, significant adjustment or any disturbances to the volcanoes other than the, the uh, 2.1 that took place shortly after that 4.3 up, uh, up in the uh, Mauna Loa area near the uh, southwest rift zone. Kind of right, almost right smack dab on it. Pretty shallow 2.1 at uh, 1.0 kilometers. And up around the uh, Kilauea, north or uh, east of there, see a little microquake activity as well. Luhi Sea Mount looks pretty quiet out there in the uh, in the uh, off the coast. And the Alaska region up north, beautiful Alaska, but cold. Looks uh, like a typical day up there. Some movement around Fairbanks southward, around the Alaska Range, and Anchorage, and into the Cook Inlet area. Seen some deeper movement into the uh, subduction zone. Some deep movement there. 1.8, uh, almost 100 kilometers deep there. All right, guys, have a good day. We will chat you a little bit later on this evening for an update video. Till then, uh, stay safe out there.